It is another week of Transylvania basketball. Last week was great. This week, eh, welcome, welcome okay. back. Welcome back. <laughs> That's hey, right. We got a split, but how's the baby doing? <laughs> the baby's doing good. Is, is basketball so bad right <laughs> no. now that you want to talk about my newborn son? It, it's not that bad, but I think anytime we can we can talk about Max K Wood on on the show, I think that that's good. Hey. Because that, Never uh, a bad thing for Mama. Yeah. But clearly, you have uh, you're, you're trying to divert attention off of a game, uh, maybe a game you weren't too happy with this week. Well, it's one of those games where we've and we're we've, talking about the Anderson game. The Anderson right, game. Yeah. We 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 have an opportunity at home to to get a good good win against a good team, and you know they've with with their beating us have moved into to the fourth spot and in, in a game out of third. So I mean, they can't play at home. We talked about but this. But we're we've we've lost three in a row at home. Yeah. And, um, for those of you that that were out on Nick, uh, New Circle Road on Saturday and you saw a Trancy bus driving around, that was our team <laughs> getting ready for the Rose home. I mean, we we treated Saturday like it was an away game. You're gonna have to so, do like the football teams doing Division One, take the team to a hotel the night before we, and then not let them out till game time. We we won't do that, but we will. We we spent about eight dollars in gas and uh, and just just trying to just trying to mix it up a little bit. I mean, we we've gone on the road. We're undefeated on the road in conference. Bizarre. Yeah. So, and some teams are like that. It doesn't matter what sport. Some teams, whether they focus better on the road, whatever it is, what, what's your personal it, theory on this one? Oh, you probably thought about it a little bit. It is, and it, it, it is interesting because, you know, some teams, we really would try to generate a whole lot of, of, of campus excitement, mm -hmm. and they just thrived on, you right. know, having, I mean, the team having that, a lot the, of the students. The great team a few years ago that went to the Final you know, Eight. This team, every time we do something and try to generate that you know, a, a decent crowd. We come out, I don't know if it's us being tight or, or what it is, but, you know, we talked about it after the game and talked about how we, we have to approach and how on the road you have a, you have a plan, and, mm -hmm. and really the coaches are in charge of you the, the whole time. At home, you're going to class, you know, and then the, everything starts for us about 3.30, uh, and, and we have not had that mental prep, but you're talking about one senior, three juniors. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they saw a couple years ago the, the fruits of the labor, but I don't know if they really saw the labor that, that went in with those that team. So that's something that, that we're going to build on down the stretch and, and hopefully get on a roll. We will talk about both the loss and the win. There is one to talk we did about win. this week, well, this week as well. Why did we start with the loss? <laughs> By the way. But we'll go ahead. Since you brought it up, we'll talk about the loss. Yep. And we come back uh, this week's edition of Transylvania Basketball with Brian Lane. Got the trivia question as well for you here. This one you want to know. Get your history books out. What year was Transylvania University founded? And to our knowledge, there was not a Lane coach in the team. Oldest college at that time. The Allegheny Mountain. He's yeah. a fountain of information. Well, I have the answer later in the show. talking last year 10-6 got you second in the league that will not get anybody I would not think second this year I don't think so and we'll see the standings later in the show but the we're sitting defiance has one loss we're sitting uh, sitting at three and and then the rest of them are four or five we're bunched up Franklin Franklin Grizzlies who we play Wednesday up in Indianapolis they have uh, they were preseason number one pick and and entered this weekend seventh place who, so. pick, who makes the pick is that the, the coaches, coaches. Okay. So we'll just, yeah. okay yeah we'll just, tell just you. want to clarify we did that. pick defiance <laughs> uh I, I picked them right up there at the, at yeah. the top but we um but the the standings and it always happens you know that some of the teams that that weren't really playing well at the beginning of the season they're starting to to really catch up to to the field and and we've we've talked about it you know every day getting better and better at, at the little things that we can control. Not whether or not we're making a shot or missing a mm -hmm. shot, but things we can control. And that, that's how you get better. Well, let's look at uh, the highlights from the game this past Wednesday, the one that you were not too fond of. You're, you're looking sharp, though. Thank you much. <laughs> Thank you much. I had the tie on for the game. Had the tie on. And uh, one of the things that they did is, I mean, they, they really shots. drove us. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they drove it at us. We won by eight up there, but they came out with, with uh, again, our, our defense. We, we just got to be tougher. I mean, when you're guarding the basketball, it's got to be uh, a whole lot tougher than that. And 
when, when you're not making shots, during this stretch right here, we're not making shots, and this might have been our, our first one. Um, both te we, we held them scoreless the first five minutes, but, but weren't able to, to get, get any buckets ourselves. And um, you get, That's something you can control. Going to the offensive glass, that's something you can control. There, uh, we, we get screened off, and, and our guard doesn't, doesn't switch off into it. And, um, you know, we watch the tape, and Matthew Parton coming off real good screens. When we screen and get open shots, you know, Matthew's one. You know, he's one of the top three-point shooters in the country right now. Uh, you know, Blake McCallum is is in. Uh, he he went into this game shooting over 70 percent in conference, the number one field goal percentage in conference, and he goes zero for zero in the first half because we we don't do the job getting it to him and, and not posting up hard enough. Yeah, and Parton did have you know a nice game from long range, I guess. Yeah, one. yeah, and uh, he, he's a very skilled offensive player, and and we that. That cuts it to uh, to ten, and they get a get a timeout. But uh, a little not enough of, of this. I don't think not enough of that. A little little out of bounds play that we stole from our good friends uh, <laughs> uh, down the road. But you know, it was it's one of those games where we're, we're disappointed because we hit a stretch where we had they they scored eight uh, eight straight possessions. And the, the guy's left-handed right there, and we're we're playing him like he's right-handed, and and we weren't able to to score. And, and, and Joey continues to, when he goes in strong, he, he's able to do it. And here we get a good steal and, and Aaron with the, the hoop. And you, you would think maybe a chance for a three-point play, but hey, some, uh, sometimes only, you don't. Only if it's <laughs> one of the things that this was the last play before the half. Matt this Wise does a great job. And uh, you don't defend that. The, the, the difficult thing about that was we missed two free throws. They would have cut it to seven. Mm -hmm. We missed the free throws. They throw that one in for... Um, to, to take it to 11 and and it just changes you know the the momentum because we were coming back we got down but we were coming back um, this team we're, we're younger but this team has got to got to get that drive about when we get down first off not get down be ready to go because your the team beginning. last year got down a lot and yes. came back yeah and and but this team right now doesn't you know we got down a little bit in the Manchester game and uh, and and really came back strong late but you can't do that. You can't put that kind of pressure on, on your offense to, to score, um, especially when you're not getting stops. All right. Uh, we do have a win to talk about. All that stuff's behind us now. You know, Absolutely. We, we give you the bad news first. Now we got the good news. How's too. Max doing? <laughs> He's just doing fine. I'm not letting you get off. You won't have to change the conversation. That's true. We got a win to talk That's about true. when we come back. We'll do that next when we come back at Transylvania Basketball with Brian Lane. Just wondering, since he out ten years, you does he get to pick where to eat on the road or Absolutely. anything? You know, you only got seven. He uh, he handles the meal money, so he's he's in control. <laughs> Does a great job and prepares our guys. Uh, he, he and Coach Valentine just prepare our guys uh, from a scouting perspective. You know, as good as it, regardless of the level. Yeah. You know, I, I've coached at all the different levels in in the scouting and the preparation that that he he goes through and the tapes and the and all the stuff that you don't see until till game time. I feel like your dad said this about Ron Whitson 15 years ago. Yeah. And, I mean, and, this is the same conversation. Yeah. But the the, the thing that to Toby's been a part of the two winning seasons in Transylvania yeah. basketball history and uh, he, uh, he he played at Hanover and uh, and and worked for for Mike Beitzel who does a great job up there. Brought a brings a you know, he hates to lose. He's a competitor. Uh, and, and that's good. I mean, that, that's what you want from a staff. Uh, let's look at some of the highlights. We're going to see them now from uh, from earlier in the week. On, actually, more than a week ago now against yeah. Manchester. The, the trip to Manchester. The, this is one of those trips where any conference has this. This is our this is our Starkville trip. You know, this is our <laughs> Hattiesburg trip. This is yeah. our. Uh, it, Troy, Not a lot Alabama. going on there. There's yeah. always somewhere in a league that that it's a it's a place where you know that that school is kind of <laughs> that that's it. And, yeah. And that. And that Manchester has been that. When Steve Alford was the coach, they they went all the way to the uh, that's right. I forgot the about final that. Final four. They lost. They were thirty-one and one that year. Lost in the finals. But um, you know, this team, we we got off to a, to a slow start and um, you're making some making some shots early, but we just didn't.